next video in today's video i will show you how to get metadata properties of an image like location width height uh, from which device the image has been captured etc in react native's new architecture without using any third party library so this tutorial is very similar to how i pick images from a photo library and display it inside an image view with an additional part of showing metadata of that image as well so i won't explain much about how to pick images from your photo library or camera roll i have already explained that in my other video so go check that out first so yeah let's get started so firstly i will show you a demo for android so here you can see so yeah uh, i will click on capture photo and it will open photo picker i will pick an image and here you can see that uh, i am printing image height model name latitude and longitude there are ton of other tons of other metadata as well uh, which uh, you can display for your image view i will show you that as well how you can use it uh, but for now i am just printing this three similarly for ios as well i will run my application uh, given that it is still running i will start with the code explanation so as usual uh, like this rtn my image and rtn my picker folder is exactly the same so i won't explain much uh, watch my previous video so for first for rtn my image this is my package.json this is my podspec file uh, then inside js i have created this file and this is the android folder so this is the build.gradle then this is inside src main i have created my image.kt and this is my image manager.kt and this is my image pack, uh, package.kt okay uh, next rtn my picker this is our package.json uh, this is the podspec file this is the js uh, file then inside android this is the build.gradle file then inside src main java com rtn my picker this is my my picker model.kt and this is uh, my picker uh, package.kt so yeah that's it for android next go to the main android folder go to build.gradle add this kotlin version as well as class path next go to app uh, build.gradle add this apply plugin kotlin android as well as implementation kotlin standard lib activity uh, kotlin extension as well as this is the important library so this will help us uh, achieve, uh, like uh, get the metadata of an image like uh, this so i have already so if you don't know there is another uh, interface which uh, android os provides called xeif interface but it is extremely fragmented i have tried using that and the one problem is was that uh, the location was in uh, you know minutes degree and seconds now that could be the way you wanted but i didn't want that way and it is extremely uh, you know not fragmented that's why and you had to do a lot of work to uh, get even simple simplest of the thing that's why i have avoided that and instead use this metadata extractor uh, grid, uh, build out gradle inside my build out gradle also uh, while uh, choosing image i would highly recommend uh, checking out this github repo because this github repo has uh, a lot of uh, images which has location uh, there could be a, a thing that, that you have an image and you try to add location manually to that and it may it might not work so it's better for debugging purpose at least you download an image from over here also make sure you download it you visit this uh, github repo from your mo mo mobile device itself if you try to transfer it like, uh, like if you uh, download it on your desktop and then uh, do a whatsapp uh, to your mobile uh, uh, like it won't work because whatsapp compresses the images and it modifies the metadata as well so don't do that download the original image then only uh, it will work properly so yeah and also i think our uh, ios is ready as well so i will just click on capture photo and if i go to my ios on the logs i will pick one image so here you can see i have added all this uh, like media type local identifier media subtype creation date pixel height latitude longitude as well as the address 
so now uh, so i have already covered android no uh, wait not yet so next after adding kotlin uh, next you have to go to android manifest add these permissions uh, next you have to go to your java folder com.rn app and you have to convert this uh, java file to kotlin file uh, next uh, i have also added this my result metadata so uh, this should be this should have been image height but i think it's fine because it is also in string by mistake i have written compression right so these are all the data which i'm fetching uh, so uh, model latitude longitude etc uh, okay that's why i have created this data class next uh, so once you ask permission it will the callback will come over here and depending on what version of android you are using i am requesting the appropriate permission and once permission has so this is all permissions has been granted same code as image picker that's why i'm not explaining in depth then this will launch our picker we are picking our image and uh, once we pick our image so this is the actual main code so here you will get the image uri so i am launching a coroutine over here from that i am getting from that uri i am getting input stream and from that i am getting metadata and from metadata i am displaying all the tags so here you can see in the locket i am displaying all these tags now these tags are very helpful to us so if you check here uh, as you know i am uh, fetching the image height right so now how to know where which tag to use so if you check the image height it is in the jpeg directory so uh, all you have to do is metadata dot get first directory of type jpeg directory colon colon class dot java then jpeg directory dot get string jpeg directory dot tag image height now i want the model so if you check model is inside xcif ifdo okay so here you will write metadata dot get first directory of type xcif ifdo directory then xcif directory dot get string xcif directory dot tag model similarly for latitude and location also i have done once we get it i'm uh, assigning it to our data class then we are fetching it from our data class and printing it to the console if you want to send it to your react native side you can send it like this here i'm just sending the image uri but if you want to send this data you can do something like this as well so yeah that's it for android now for ios firstly you will have to go to uh, uh, your rn app i'm using objective c uh, that's why inside rn app uh, at the bottom you have to add this photos dot framework as well as photos ui dot framework if uh, you have been using or uh, a swift i don't think we will have to add this but you might have to add a prefix header file i'm not sure but uh, most of my code is in objective c only displaying of the images inside a swift file that's why i had to add this photos dot framework photos ui dot framework next uh, inside info dot p list add this uh, event emitter same as uh, my previous tutorial that's why i'm not explaining as well as event emitter dot objective c file as well uh, then this is the swift file for displaying our image once we have the appropriate uri okay uh, next uh, inside bridging header add this then this is our header file uh, this is our objective c plus plus file so again i won't be explaining this because this is already covered okay next i have created a manager class same as previous thing then i have created a picker class so here you have might have to add code location as well and php controller delegate as well and inside our objective c file so here is the main thing so again this is like oh, same as my previous video and once you click on your picker so firstly it will come over here so here we are launching our picker so once you pick an image it will the control will go over here we are dismissing our picker then we are looping over it then uh, we are asking for all the permissions so if user has granted all permission then this method will call otherwise we are just logging it to the console so once this method is called here you can see we are doing ph fetch result and from that we are getting an asset and from that you can print anything you want media type local identifier which i was uh, printing right media type local identifier media subtype a creation date pixel height uh, and if you want the location as well uh, this is how you will get the latitude longitude and also i have the, uh, shown you how to get uh, geo code uh, geo river you can use reverse geo coding as well okay so once uh, all this stuff is done uh, 
uh, you have to go to your app.tsx uh, go to the root uh, root of uh, go to the go to your terminal open uh, uh, i hope like one one thing which i forgot was you have to enable the new architecture so for android just search for new arc enable it should be present inside android gradle dot properties make it as true for ios go to your terminal cd to your ios directory and then run this uh, once that is done uh, go to the root of your react native project then run this then run this then you will have to do cd dot dot okay then you have to run this command but make sure R my project name is rnapp so whatever your project name is replace it over here as well as over here similarly over here as well you have to run this command but make sure you change your project name then cd to android run this cd to ios run this then for android and ios i have created separate uh, files so for android view so this is how it is it is similar to how uh, we have done it for picking images uh, video so you can check that out and similarly for ios as well i have done it something like this so uh, yeah i think that should be it uh, thank you for watching bye